This one is a little bit uh, less complicated, but a little bit harder to go around. It doesn't matter which way we go here, left or right, uh, we're going to be going uh, backwards. We're gonna be making a U-turn here. So I turned right, you could easily turn left. It does not necessarily matter. And I'm hoping that everybody stays alive for at least a good portion here. Everybody, please just attack. Take down the manticores. Once again, eight damage. It's probably that the enemies have leveled up with me, right? But it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't necessarily feel that way. They have the same HP and all that, at least from what I remember. I don't want to pick up the searchlight. You can stop trying to give me searchlights. All right, so I made a right. As a result, I'm going to ignore the thing on the left and make a right here. Uh, straightforward is just a dead end. And is all of this worth it? Probably not. But if we follow this path all the way to the end, uh, we can find a manticore waiting for us. With a searchlight in the treasure chest. No. Yes. Stop giving me searchlights. And eventually we can find another treasure chest that I will open with 20 more Mercedes inside. Uh, this time I want to go uh, backwards. If you turn left instead of right, you're gonna wanna go straight. It's just easier this way. Um, it's, it's just easier and it's a little bit faster because the path that we ignored before is what we're gonna go down. If I had turned left from uh, the entrance to this floor, it would have led to uh, no door, no options. There would have been a dead end, but there wouldn't have been a path to the right if I had turned left. But since I turned right, there was a path left. I'm confusing myself, I should stop talking. Uh, but uh, eventually we will get to where I need to go. So we got the 20 Mercedes. I can't say I'd blame you if you didn't go for them. After all, that one fight gave us 96. So uh, the entrance to this floor is on the left over there. Uh, we're going to take a right. This will lead us further on. And I want to head right here, taking on another Manticore. Why are they spamming Manticores today? Hey, a level up for Elisa. That could be quite nice for me. 58 Mercedes and a searchlight that I still do not care about. Please stop giving me searchlights. And over here we can find a treasure chest. I will open this one. It has a Polorimate inside. I'll drop a searchlight for it. It's not necessarily the best item, but it's better than a searchlight. I got the permanent one here. Maybe it's because they didn't think I would get the permanent searchlight. I don't know. All right, so make a U-turn and head forward, fighting more manticores. There's no way searchlights expire this quickly, though. There's no way. We couldn't kill either one. Yeah, Tylon, please finish one of these guys off. All right, down go the manticores. More experience heading my way. Open the treasure chest and, and dump the searchlight. No, yes. I'm just leaving a trail of abandoned searchlights in my wake. All right, straightforward is a dead end, so we are gonna turn right. Uh, we will turn left here. <laughs> and in here we can find a treasure chest. I'm gonna open it. And it's got a searchlight in it. No. Yes, I will abandon the searchlight. And then we get into a fight. The game is mad that I keep on abandoning these searchlights. The game cannot handle this this feeling of of abandonment that I am giving it. S somebody please finish it off. Thank you, Meow. Thank you. There's no searchlights from Whites, is there? All right, thank you. All right, now make a U-turn here and head forward. Uh, we will uh, take a left here. That is actually not a dead end. There is a treasure chest there, but it's empty, so let's not open it. There's no reason to take any sort of risk with treasure chests when I know there's nothing inside. As we can fight more manticores. Do you know what that means? If you guessed more searchlights, you've been paying attention. 
I'm gonna have to abandon another one. I don't know necessarily how searchlights work, right? In the Master System version, they're called flashes. Uh, I don't know if they work just by existing or if you actually have to use them like they're a glow stick or something you have to like break it and start shaking it and and then it'll work for an ex for a period of time i don't know how it works but i like to imagine that there's just this row of lights everywhere that i've been no damn searchlights stop giving me searchlights okay we're gonna take a right here and then we're going to follow this path around the corner where we can find a treasure chest with 20 more Mercedes. Not necessarily worth it, but I'll take it. Make a U-turn, head straight. And all the way to the end here. Uh, that's a dead end there. So we're going to head uh, right. And then another right to the left is another dead end. Lots of dead ends on this path. But here we can find stairs. And we're done with our decision making. So let's just head forward. The only decisions, are you serious? I didn't think these guys could show up here in pairs. I'm already low on HP. All right, we gotta try again. Power boost on Elisa and wind from, from loot. We have to here. These guys are not easy. They're golems! There's a pair of them again! Alright, we're, we're gonna get this to work, damn it. We're gonna get this to work. Tylon and loot go for wind again. And I'm gonna have to heal after this. And you're damn right it's not gonna be using MP. We're, we're gonna be healing the old-fashioned way with items. Loot's just attack. We've almost got this. We've almost got this. All right, down they go. All right, we, we took down the golems, 276 Mercedes. Uh, let me go ahead and heal using a few Rurogenins. Slightly healed, let's continue on. Like I said, no decisions to be made here. We are simply going forward and following the very windy path. This is really just to fill out the room and... Okay, new enemy, cyborg mages. These guys don't necessarily look too friendly. I know that the other ones had an attack. I don't necessarily remember with you guys what you do. Uh, so let's go with win just in case things start really going to hell here. I need to save at least a little bit with Lutz's MP so I can warp out of here. If they just keep on trying to bop me on the head with their staff, I will be happy. But we should be close to finishing them here. Yeah, there's, there's their multi-hitting attack. It wasn't too strong, though, so I don't mind it too much. 52 experience for taking out the pair. Damn it! 240 Mercedes. I think we're good. I think we can, we can do this. We still have a long way to go, though. This is a long path. This is really testing how long you can go with, you know, with the healing items and the MP that you have, because we still have a long way to go to make it to the end here. I've actually lost track of how far along this path we are. And we can find a King Saber here. Hooray, it's an upgraded centaur. 190 HP. I, and he bound up Tylon. My main source of damage, really. Because he's doing 20. Nobody else is doing 20. Alright, Tylon is ready to go. Okay, that's fine. He dodged Meow's attack? And then Looch does 14. Right. Right, because numbers don't matter. All right, King Saber goes down, 31 experience points. We'll open the treasure chest, 133 Mercedes, and no explosion. No explosion. I honestly don't know where we are. I have lost all sight of it. We still just need to continue forward. We just need to move forward. Oh, I think I know where we are now. 
All right, we're, we're over halfway there. That's pretty much as far as I can say. Okay, down this long corridor, taking on another cyborg mage. Yeah, down here, things start getting a little bit more complicated, but I still did not expect golems. Golems are, are never nice to see. We're getting close to the end of the game here, if you haven't been able to tell. Got some ultimate weapons, some ultimate armor, things like that. We're making it. All right, just one golem. This guy, I can just attack and win. I honestly can. If it's just one, I can just attack and win. I have enough, I have enough HP to last through this. Tylon? Tylon, all right. Down goes the golem, like, like I said. It's just when it's a pair that it's an issue and I need to think about it. All right, down the long corridor again after taking on more, more mages. It, they only did it to two people? I thought it hit everybody. There's certain random things in this game that I don't necessarily understand. To, yeah, just hit two people. Didn't they hit everybody the first time that we saw that? Maybe th uh, things are just playing with my head here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be cutting out any battles here because we're getting close to death here. Down the long corridor again. Open the door. Head forward. Take a right. Another door. This one's locked for some reason. Dungeon key. Use it and head through. Do you see this flame in my hand? This is the eclipse torch. This is the sacred fire of the centennial eclipse. It's beautiful, holy, and indeed very valuable. Might be willing to part with some of it for, say, a dragon's crystal. What do you say? Yes. You mean like the arrow prism? Excellent, here you are then. All right, we got what we came for. We got ourselves the eclipse torch. I had definitely had room for it there. Uh, we still have the, the arrow prism for the record, but uh, I believe that's what we traded for it, technically. Unless I'm missing something here. Either way, we got the eclipse torch. That's what we care about. And we are ready to go. Loot! Get me the hell out of here. I, I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to go through that again. Okay, so let's uh, journey back. I definitely need to go back and heal. I don't have any place to buy Herogenins, though. But we're going to head out of here. We're going to head southeast first. Just in case you have forgotten how to get through here. Can I, can I go in? They're not letting me in with, with the ice decker. I have to get out. Sometimes they'll let me out, but not today. Ice Decker's like way up there now. That's what happens when you keep using items. All right, in here we go. Once again, it is very straightforward. And it's not even all that long. Don't be surprised if you go through this whole area without getting into a fight like I did. All right, back into the Ice Decker. And we are going to head back to town. I'll I'll stop when we get to the tunnel, but that that is that is definitely where I need to go. I need to get the hell out of here once again. Snails. Maybe I'm just not that familiar with snails. After all, I do live in Southern California. We probably have a different kind of snail than could ever survive in the Arctic, but I don't know of any that could. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. Meow, you're going to have to stretch it. I'm not going to open the treasure chest. I'm just not. It's it's not worth it. For the record, it's probably going to cost me about three, four hundred mesedas uh, to heal everybody in town. Somewhere around, uh, probably even more than that. By the time I get there, it'll probably be about five hundred. Like they don't mess around when it comes to healing. No, no, you guys screwed me over last time. I'm not doing it again. No. Oh, just head east. All right, a couple of Dorouges. These guys are not difficult. 
but we are going to make it back to town. This has been quite the taxing experience, but uh, remember that I actually did level grinding for this part. Oh, Mad Stalker again. These guys, these guys have, are, are not all that bad. Not too bad. 44 experience. I will take it. I will take it. Okay. Almost there. Oh, uh, Herixes? These guys could be quite deadly. I'm kind of curious if they hit Tylon. How much damage does it do? But I guess we won't find out today. I wonder if it's exactly seven too. Okay, here is the tunnel that leads us to Twin Town. I am going to stop here. I will head back off screen and I will head back here and I'll meet you back here and we'll pick up from here next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Fantasy Star. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined as always by the Ice Decker and our comfortable party of Elisa, Meow, Tylon, and Lutz. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.